Hi, Brahim, how are you? Uh, thank you for sending in your next essay and the letter. Well done. Um, hope all's going well with you. Well done working so hard through the course. You've been so fast and worked really, really well. Hope you feel happy with your progress. I think you're doing great. Uh, here. This is a informal letter, like neutral but more informal, because this guy is your neighbour, and it's very important to get the tone right. So I think you need to be a little bit more friendly. <laughs> um, it's a little bit uh, brutal, almost uh, a little bit abrupt, um, and we're going to make it a little bit more subtle. Yeah, you need to have here a name. This is very important. The greetings, remember, dear Mr. Smith, and because he's your neighbour. We're assuming that you know him. You might not know him very well, but you can put regards if you don't know him very well. Or you can put kind regards. Oh, sorry. Uh, you could put here kind regards. Or best regards, something like that. But it's very important that you show the examiner you know the difference between the informal endings for a letter and the formal endings. You would be marked down by putting your sincerely. Okay? It's really important that. Uh, I hope. Hope you are doing well. Okay. It was lovely to see you last week at that concert. Something to show that you know the guy. Yeah? That local. To show you're a neighbour. That's really, really important. Um, I'm writing this letter, so I hope you don't mind. Mind that I'm writing this as to highlight the irritating behavior of your dog. Beca because of... Um, because of this, I would say, because it's what you're actually doing. I'm unable to sleep. Now, I've used present perfect. I have been unable to sleep. Okay, So present perfect started in the past when the dog started barking, and it's carry on now. Okay, So for me, this is a little bit uh, softer and more gentle and more polite, and this uh, a balance between polite and friendly is very difficult, and that's exactly what this letter is testing. Unfortunately, I've noted um, a very strange attitude in Zorro, or either a very strange attitude in or the, let's go for the very strange attitude of Zorro, as it, I and mean, it's a dog, he or she, continuously barks all the time from morning until late night so on your time carefully get that right from morning till late night consequently this or he has disturbed or this barking has disturbed my study routine as i'm able to focus on my online lectures due to uh, this extreme noise or something like that but not it i believe there's some i believe there may be let's be a bit more polite here there might be a medical issue um, don't put with it again, just put due to which Zorro is unable to be calm, relaxed and quiet any time during the day. Okay, good. That's lovely. Well done. I'd appreciate it. Appreciate it. Now you need to have, that needs an object there. It. If you could, <coughs> excuse me, arrange a medical appointment with any renowned pet specialist. Um, you don't need that, just go pet specialist. And get an urgent treatment so the dog could. Uh, urgent treatment, you may put it as your dog. Maybe suffering from some. some pain. And just stop there. Yeah, I don't think you need that bit. Okay, I think. You've said enough. Um, let me check that word count, actually. Yeah, you're good on your words. I take... Um, yeah, those some suffering some pain. Yeah, I don't think you need a bit about exams. I think you've, you've said the problem here. I think that's probably enough. Um, 
I would be very grateful, it's not I will, so you want to have here, I would be very grateful, not thankful to you for you, for acting properly. Okay, and then kind regards at the end. Yep, nice. Okay, fine. So I think don't, um, these task ones are important. They are more difficult than they look. And what they're testing is that you can get this balance right of formal, informal, or, um, and just making sure your language is the right way around. Okay, well done. Good. Okay, so experts, the green energy. Here we go. And nowadays, most green energy is becoming ever more prevalent. Uh, in both developed and developing countries. Some argue they reduce costs and are better for the environment, others that they are a threat to security. So experts, I would say here, maybe, instead of just experts, I would say scientists and um, professionals. Instead of just, or, it doesn't matter, but I think extra marks, instead of just experts, you can put what kind of people they are. It shows a nice kind of um, vocabulary there. Throughout both the developing and developed world have debated whether green energy sources are more useful or detrimental to the climate. Uh, useful, why? Um, to provide alternative power or detrimental. I think you need a little bit more there. Uh, I believe you don't need the comma these are cost efficient and environmentally, that should be an adjective, environmentally friendly, yet their drawbacks should also be taken into account. Good. And Cecil will discuss the advantages, advantages and disadvantages of clean energy. Good, well done for using a different word. Um, using examples from China and Oxford University, Captain U. Demonstrate points to prove arguments. Good. Nice intro, well done. On the one hand, there is ample evidence that power generation process that the power generation process um, okay, I put power, so you could put yeah, electricity. Just so we're not repeating your one. Has been transformed significantly by the use of renewable energy sources. The central reason behind this is twofold. Firstly, they are cost effective. Um, as windmills, solar panels, and water treatment plants use resources which are infinite and free to extract. Excellent. That is a very, very good sentence. Absolutely bang on the topic. Well done. Good vocabulary, cost effective. You're giving me examples here, which is what we want. Um, and then lovely adjectives, infinite and free to extract. Very, very good. Secondly, there are no harmful effects on the climate as there's minimal carbon emission and results and, and uh, resultantly I think you have to put consequently you either have to put as a result or consequently and then it's the ozone layer and there's no capital O on there the ozone layer is saved from detrimental um, effects good very nice uh, for example recent empirical research by the China Energy Board demonstrated that there is a 25% decrease, and I would say there has been, because it's since something started, there has been a 25% decrease in, in the release of hazardous gases, chemicals, and other materials. Uh, by so I would, instead of by, I would go since the use, the increased. Oh, sorry. use of green energy sources than during than in the traditional power generation process. Really nice, good. So definitely put present perfect in there and put since in there. Okay. Well done. Very, very good paragraph, really strong. On the other hand, <laughs> some negative aspects of alternative energy sources including power ineffectiveness, disruption of connection and electrical appliance damage should also be considered. This is largely because utilization of alternative energy models is at its initial stage and there is a dearth of word. 
of appropriate electric infrastructure at, and keep, uh, link it there. Because of that, and then I'm going to put a comma because, whoa, whew, long sentence, electronic machines are often damaged by the... Um, Right, let's not put the volatility of, let's put volatile, make it into an adjective, by volatile. Output power voltage. Very good. Wow. Uh, it sounds like you have some experience of this. It's something I had never thought of before. Um, but well done. That's really, really, uh, it's a very, very good sentence here. And you've got some really powerful language in here. So alternative energy sorted sources and a power ineffectiveness, disruption of connection, electrical appliance damage, and then a nice should modal verb uh, and passive should be considered very, very nice. Um, super grammar, wow. For example, an extensive study showed that there are more chances of industrial products destruction by green energy than conventional approach than during financial approach. And consequently, consumers are deterred from uh, now, to be a deterrent is a little bit different. That would be, you're using it as a, um, a noun. They are deterred from, always deterred from. Um, I wouldn't say go for, because that's too informal from seeking new power solutions. Okay, very good. Really, really lovely. Wow. To conclude, from the examples, I firmly believe that there are enormous benefits of using green energy sources, yet the pitfall should not be ignored. Good. It's predicted that relevant authorities uh, would take, uh, I would go stronger here, must take, let's go uh, strong modal, must take sufficient measures to overcome the aforementioned problems. Well done. Wow. That is one of the best uh, of these essays I have read. You are writing at a very high level. Technically, um, it's very interesting, obviously, and what the comments you're making is very interesting, but also you are showing a very wide range of very, very good grammar in here. Excellent vocabulary as well. Uh, I'm very impressed. Raheem, well done. Uh, just don't forget that task one. I get the impression you don't like the task ones. They are important. <laughs> okay, well done.